initialization. <laughs> Damn. The Adam Sam Sam. Damn, Adam Sam. <laughs> we we talking about a newer version, like when he first started coming out, or the one he looked like now. Damn. The show Damn. Stops <laughs> That's awful. Damn. Have you seen like any of the kids? Like, have you seen somebody be like a kid, and then you kind of watch them grow up, and maybe you kind of see them starting to go down the wrong path, or like I, I, don't... I, I, I somewhat this this switched a little bit. I've dealt with the wrong kids that was on the wrong path that was just known for doing drugs, beating on their mama, and just doing a lot, punching holes in the wall when it was between the age of mm. thirteen, moving up to seventeen. But mm. I stayed on top of them. And I'm not gonna take all the benefits of I mold them into a right person, but now they're married. They're like 23, married with kids, uh, got a wife on the right path, and just doing a lot of good things. So I seen where a troubled child, a troubled child became just this angel out of the blue. And of course, I, I, I helped. He even said it every time he come back and visit. He said, "I truly appreciate you because if it went for you always talking to me and handling me the way you did and talking to me." then I don't know where I'll be at right now. And what motivates me, just as much as I, I get this a lot that I motivate a lot of people. I get a lot of inbox that if it wasn't for the videos they watched, it felt like I was talking to them and that's why they still here. Uh, I do what I do because of the people that's behind me. Because if I didn't have the support from everybody that's saying they going through things, my videos help them. If it wasn't from the support from there, if I didn't have their support, I wouldn't do this. It, it, it almost felt like, what's the point of doing it? But then right. the support is so strong and so big and so deep till at the end of the day, if I could save one life with just my TikTok, I would do it. And I want you to understand this. And I wish I was exaggerating when I say this, but sometimes you can look at people's TikTok video and see that they're not doing well. You can see that, hey, Hawk, if it went for your video, I was actually thinking about committing suicide and your video pop up. And then you, I mean, you, already, you, you want to make sure I go on their page and look. And you can just see the pain in their eyes. You can see, like, you, they at their push point. That 100%, I believe it. Uh, it's just, you can, I, wanna, I don't want to get spiritual in it, but you can just look in their eyes when they're in the videos and how they communicate, how they talk. Like, he wasn't lying. He felt like he wanted to kill himself. And he said what video motivated him to make sure he stay, that he, he do belong on this earth. That's why he's still here. And I get that a lot. I get a lot of people that's depressed, a lot of people that's, um, thinking about committing suicide, saying that my video helped them. And I got to understand this. Hey, every kid, every video I did with that kid, the bullshit kid video, hit over millions of views. And I did like six videos already with him. And they <laughs> always hit in every every uh, social media platform. Dude, those freaking videos made me laugh my ass off. Yeah. It was a couple uses app, and it took them to a, a waterfront with a rocky ledge. A and beach. when they went, it was a beach. And when they went down there, they found multiple bags Full of body parts. No, they found a body in a suitcase. It was a body in a suitcase. And yeah. then there was another body parts, though, right? They turned out to be more body parts, if I remember correctly. I think so, yeah. Yeah. And then there's been people that have gone out to these Indian burial. The app has taken them to Indian burial. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give them a little bit more context. This app is supposed to give you a random, rando nautica, a random location. So there's no inputs allegedly from this app other than whatever you the user put in there so say you want you put whatever word you want to use as a trigger point for the app so the question is why did the app lead this person to a suitcase with body parts on the beach it also depends on the key word they type in like yeah but either way how does it like that's a pretty damn specific <laughs> pin for the app to drop, how did it do that? There like it <laughs> that particular situation to me is so bizarre. It just doesn't, that's why I'm like, how does it get the pin? Right? How does it know where to tell someone to go? Like I get it, you put in a word and there's a prompt and blah, blah, blah. But like that suitcase situation to me just seems too uh, open. bizarre. It's telling me that, damn, it told me that I shouldn't do, well, nope, it's 